You know who was at the UN this morning responding to accusations that he froze 400 million in Ukrainian aid until they gave up dirt on Joe and Hunter Biden. Now, he says that's not why he withheld funds. <laughs> and he kept up his attack on the Bidens. Take a look. As far as withholding funds, those funds were paid. They were fully paid. Uh, but my complaint has always been, and I withhold again, and I'll continue to withhold until such time as Europe and other nations contribute to Ukraine. When you see the readout of the call, which I assume you'll see at some point, you'll understand. That call was perfect. It couldn't have been nicer. And even the Ukrainian government put out a statement that that was a perfect call. There was no pressure put on them whatsoever. But there was pressure put on with respect to Joe Biden. What Joe Biden did for his son, that's something they should be looking at. So... <laughs> You know, some people are calling this the tipping point for Democrats, and do they need to start impeachment hearings? I mean, I, you know, this is an, a Joe Biden attack. Let's call it for what it is. He's, yeah. he's trying to attack Joe in any, every way he can. Nervous. He, he should be nervous. He should be nervous. People don't like what he's been doing and how he's doing it. And to say that, you know, he withheld the money because people aren't paying, what are you talking about? Who's not paying? Who's not paying what? And did you ask them for money? Well, you, what was the deal? That's a lie. Probably it, one of his lawyers told him to say that to get out of it because he basically made this phone call to the Ukrainian president, Zelensky, one day after Mueller testified. So he figured, yeah. well, I got away with it that time. Yeah. All the country is now saying is that I didn't solicit help from the uh, Russians, mm -hmm. that they gave it to me, but I didn't go after it. Mm -hmm. Now he's saying, well, you know what? I got away with that. Let's see what else I can do. So he makes a call. He doesn't give the money until he makes it clear to this Ukrainian president that maybe they will help him to uh, go into the election and help him defeat Biden. So that is called quid pro quo. And if they can prove it with the transcript, which he keeps saying, I would love to give it to you. Well, you know, I believe in people should do what they love. So <laughs> give, it, give it up, okay? Well, I, I don't think, you know, I, I think rather than have the transcript, because a transcript can always be redacted mm -hmm. for national but security purposes, good. but I, I think that's what they will do. I, I, I still think that Congress <clears throat> should see the whistleblower complaint pursuant to the law. Yes. But I also um, really think that that is why I have always been on the side of impeachment. That is a constitutional requirement. Congress is supposed to have oversight over the executive branch. And I understand that there are two arguments here. One is certainly political, and Nancy Pelosi is looking at the, pol the politics of it. But the other is the legal uh, side of this. And that is why he's been so emboldened, because Congress has refused to act. And it's much like a child. If you don't oversee the child, taking cookies from the cookie jar, guess what? The kid is going to keep on taking the cookies from the cookie jar. And that's why he decided to make that well, phone that's right. call exactly. on July 25th. Right. So I, I've why. been, as you guys know, I've been weary about this from the time it was trickling out last week because, one, we didn't have all the facts. Media doesn't always get it right. And it was the same Democrats that have been calling for impeachment since before he even got in office. Right. So I was like, let's just take a breath. The more I'm learning about this, and I think other people are learning about it, this is really alarming. Yeah. And, well, now we have more of the facts. And he, the president himself, even admitted it. But in my opinion, this is extortion. That's right. Right? I mean, I was, I was trying to compare it to something in our life. If, because if he really was withholding the money, saying he was wanting Paris, or he wanted France and Germany to pay for it, why didn't he tell Congress at the time that was the reason why? But if you have a boss that says, go do something for mm. me, mm. something that you don't want to do, you know that they hold the cards, that if you don't do it, you risk not getting paid, you risk getting fired. In Ukraine, they didn't have the money yeah. that they needed, that they were promised they were going to Which, get. So in that way. case, he may say, I'm not pressuring you, but they know if you don't do what I'm telling you to do, mm -hmm. you will not be in a good position. And, and that is a country I think they we should... desperately need the money, the Ukraine. Yeah, but, 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 that's another yeah. point. Right, but here yeah. I think as a country, we should take a step back again and say, what should our president do? that we should be proud of. He Is this leave. something that we he say should we leave. should stand by? <laughs> <laughs> he's just got, I mean, 
if you that would make us so proud. If you, if you're asking, asking. No, good girl. I, I just, I think the show is about. Uh, I think we all try and like came out of my give our honest opinions about things. And, and for me, this has been um, something that I've thought through over the last few days. And sometimes facts have to come in for you to figure out where you stand. And this is this is scary stuff. But it's I don't think a, I don't you care know where you are politically. I don't think anyone should stand by this. Abby, Abby, and say this is okay. Abby, this guy, well, uh, is, uh, this uh, his. Crimes have been as clear as the nose on your face. This, this one, this one seems a little more clear to me uh, than than other ones we've seen.